Although developed in 1969, serial interface RS-232 is still widely used. It seems like it should have been substituted long ago by modern interfaces like USB that are widely used in computers nowadays. And it is well known that microcontrollers also have ports like CAN and RS-485 that have greater data exchange rate and reliability, as well as communication link length. However, even modern computers and microcontrollers are equipped with RS-232 interface. So why it is still being used? Apparently because of its relatively well-balanced and universal parameters. In other words, the RS-232 interface combines average characteristics of data exchange rate and reliability, communication distance, simplicity of programming and other parameters. Some aspects of RS-232 performance are significantly better than those of another interface. So let's compare RS-232 with other interfaces, for example with USB, CAN or RS-485. RS-232 has a greater communication link length if compared with USB, however CAN and RS-485 have better parameters in this case. Also USB has a much better data exchange rate and reliability. For that reason many peripheral devices that are plugged into computer have a USB interface. These are for example printers, scanners, cell phones and digital cameras. RS-232 has a significantly simpler programming capability if compared with scan, RS-485 or USB interfaces. It is worth mentioning that nowadays RS-232 has received a new impetus as the new wireless technologies conquer the market. We offer a wide variety of RS-232 microchips manufactured by Maxim. It is a leading producer of reception microchips and transmitters. Max-232 microchip has become an industrial standard and is used by many developers despite the significant improvement of microchips with unipolar supply. We offer MAX-202 and MAX-251 microchips by Maxim, as well as ADM-202 and ADM-232 models by analog devices. To get more information about these microchips, please visit our website.